Imagine you're stuck in a traffic jam before the days of cell phone or internet. Everywhere you look, you're surrounded by cars with no information about the size of the traffic jam, no access to the alternate routes. What do you do? You wait. You wait. How long? You don't know. You know, Jacob, in Sunday's passage, was stuck like that. He was under a man named Laban who was exploiting him. Jacob had one hope. God had given him a promise in Genesis 28, 15 that he would bring him out from under Laban and bring him back to the promised land, and God did that. Sometimes, like Jacob, all we've got are the promises of God. So here's my question. What are your circumstances? But more importantly, what are the promises of God on which you are relying?